Hey, well that's kind of cool. I just got 88 crafting. I was kind of expecting it. I definitely have at least one more crafting level banked because I, I was just looking and I have 40,000 flax which is 600k XP and I'm only 450 away there still got plenty of staffs to make here so also got a pretty decent uh, little chunk of dragon hide we'll see how I go it's it's good to know that I have at least 89 banked if I'm pretty close to 90 I'll probably go for it just because it's a super shiny number hey yo you know I realized I didn't I didn't record when I went to miscellanea you know of course my approval rating was pretty garbage so it took you know 10 minutes 15 minutes to chop enough teaks to get my approval back up and I went ahead and put 4 million in it you know some GP I had like 500k left or something but uh yeah I want to show you I don't I don't have the video of the haul but I do have a picture. Yeah, so this is the haul I got from Miscellanea over three months. Over 100 bird's nests, 11k maples. Really, there's nothing too interesting here. This 108 is uh, Renars on the far top right. And other than that, it's really nothing too, too interesting. But yeah, figured I'd show you. So I, I think I'm closing out like 30 30 or 20 percent of this level just doing uh just doing spin and spin flax so i'll show you all my little there we go level 89 crafting cool oh i can i can cut zenite on my own now that's nice <clears throat> and make the ring well uh i made all of those leathers that i had uh, a few mil worth of alks with that i'm definitely gonna try to stay true to spinning all this flax after that I was thinking about fletching but uh, it's just so useless you know fletching is just so dang useless so I'm not really I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I'm kind of I'm thinking about fishing and kicking my feet up and being a fishing man I really like uh, I like getting a stock of carambon I don't know. I, li I like fishing anything, so I'll be doing a mix of Carambon anglers and minnows for them sharks. But let's see how many... Uh... <laughs> okay, so I have... I only have 6.7k casts left till uh, 90 crafting. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do that. Um, I... I don't know. <laughs> I'll see how I do. It's gonna be a, probably a couple days, because I'm not gonna... I can't no life spin flax for that long, but yep, here we go. So this inventory will be getting me uh, 96 magic, and I still have a few a few casts to go for. There it is, 96 magic. I can now do spellbook swap and I think Gorak teleport. So I. I now have every spell in the spell books unlocked. I'm, that's pretty cool. That's kind of a cool milestone, if I gotta be honest. Um, hell yeah. So I still have, uh, what is this? Like a thousand casts left, 1200 casts left, something like that, to get, um, to get 90 crafting. And yeah, so I'm just plugging away at this. It's really not very interesting. <laughs> Uh, but you gotta pro you gotta process this stuff in your bank, man. Uh, on an Iron Man, like like what are you gonna do? Certain things you can let just pile up because it's it's really useless to to use. Like I have all these maple logs, which I think could get me. Well, I think it's like two and a half million XP or something if I were to make all them into unstrungs. But that's just not. I'm not gonna say it's not feasible. It's just not very practical where I feel much more comfortable doing something like spin flax because I'm getting magic XP and this crafting XP and crafting XP is much harder to get materials for than say fletching like I'm gonna get a lot of fletching XP from doing darts and bolts anyway 
just for you know um, bossing use and, and stuff also I have 84 fletching so I can make uh, dragon bolts and I guess I think the next milestone's at 90 which is dragon arrows but fletching is so low on the priority list it I mean I just granted I'm not I can't even use dragon bolts because I don't have a bow that can shoot them the little difference about clearing your bank out but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of experiment bet uh, between if I want to do herbivore or agility rooftop agility while alking but I think if I want to be real technical I would be doing herbivore it just takes slightly more thought than agility rooftop agility and <clears throat> I'm all about just trying to chill out automation style granted with herbivore I can also get more alks in more regularly uh, where with agility it's much slower to alk the stuff so <clears throat> I'm a little torn here we go at the end of this inventory I will have 90 crafting here it is look at that son sick oh uh I can make a new birdhouse that's kinda cool the best birdhouse and not boost for onyx alright so that's actually my first non-combat other than cooking that's at 90 cooking I feel like doesn't even count because it's such a high XP skill but yeah so I get crafting up there wouldn't have guessed there would have been crafting but that's what happens when you have all this stuff I just happen to have all this stuff so I end up with 53k bowstrings so next order of business is to meander around while I alk and then I think I've got my eyes my mind my eyes and my mind fixated on fishing round that off at uh, 90 as well cool coming in with level 82 agility I didn't have much experience in this level I don't think uh, when I started and actually still haven't got to my battle staves yet very nice probably won't use that uh, still haven't gotten to the battle stays. I've been pretty good about getting at least like I don't know three or four minimum alks per you know lap. We'll see how I do if I can manage to keep keep the patience with agility alkin. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this dude. Look at the balance on Mr. Jekyll man. Dr. Jekyll. He's sick, dude. He's got some skills, man. I didn't know he was that talented. And uh, there's no way I could give him an herb now. See ya, bitch. Yeah. 83. 83 agility. So, I still have about 2,000 left. And, uh... Yeah, we're cruising, son. We're cruising. I think I'm over halfway done, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my alarm's going off. Gotta go to work. Oh. Really a minuscule amount of alks left, considering I had, I think, a little over 4k, just about. So, I've popped in and out of this place a little bit, but the vast majority I've done uh, while on this course... So I'm going to stick around and get that 250th mark and cap off that 84 agility right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, get this last mark, and then I'll have enough marks of grace to make 625 four-dose stamina potions. That's pretty successful. Uh, I'll fill you in when I'm actually done out in this stuff, but I'm probably going to chill out on the agility and just sit for a minute <laughs> and just do these al natural, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I finished out and now I'm just going to scroll through the bank and I'll find another billion things that I forgot to out. No, I think I'm good.
there's the full cash pile. 41 mil. I don't think I've had that much before. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy about that. And looking at my stamina potion count, I'll, I'll only have like 800 something by the end of this, but I do believe I have enough super energies. Yeah, I was going to, that would be weird if I didn't have enough super energies to facilitate all these amylase. Um, so just going to be a good boy in process, uh, these amylase, and then I do believe it will be fishing time. You know, unless I think of something else to do in between then. Holy moly, I didn't even consider the amount of... Okay, no, that's wrong. Oh, I thought I was getting 102 per dose for a second. I was like, holy shit. No. <clears throat> so this is going to be worth sixty, just over 63,000 uh, herb lore XP, which is pretty good, pretty solid. When I did the calculation first, I was like, holy crap, that's like 250k, man. It's not, though. It's only 60k. What am I going to do with all these stamina potions? Oh. This is actually pretty ridiculous. I have not mentally changed gears since doing Alk Agility. So this is like watching paint dry. I, I used to love fishing and woodcutting. When I would play on and off growing up, because I could like chill and play guitar and like just click once every minute or something like that. So right now I'm just kind of tired, so I don't know what the what the fuck I'm doing. If I don't think it's something, I'm gonna have to watch a show or something because this is fucking nuts. <laughs> Imagine not like doing something else in real life, <laughs> like what I don't know, like doing something with your hands or watching TV or you know whatever you watch or listen to and just being like hope i sure love fishing in runescape look oh it's been like 45 seconds since i caught a fish that's not too bad there's that xp drop i just need to see that a thousand more times hands are off the keyboard i'm not doing anything look at him go good god yeah, this is definitely it. This is what this is, people do this and like do homework and shit. I ain't got no homework. I honestly, I kind of, I kind of feel like I need to do something more tedious. Maybe something like minnows is a good middle ground where I can kind of zone out and just click every ten seconds or whatever it is. It's not exactly tedious. Looking at my stats though, it looks like fishing should definitely be the next ninety if I'm just going straight at it and then i'll probably do fire making just because it's so fast and it's just free total levels if i'm gonna do wood cutting it's gonna be on teaks i think just i think that's the quickest way to bank construction xp i should probably just switch my miscellanea back to back to hardwood i like mahogany i don't care that it costs more i like being able to do it less but my motivation for construction is just really low because I don't, I don't really think there's anything too useful for me after 84 because I have the pool and everything. So, yeah, I'll figure it out. These last few fish are coming in quick. It's exciting. I will be, I will be hitting 89 fishing with this inventory here. And yeah, it, it kind of took a while. I had like 20 or 30% or some, something like that into this level and wanted to do the rest at anglers, like I said. And, and it was something like 2,600 angler fish. Let's see it. There it is, 89. Woot, woot, woot. All right, so actually just under 2,600. Just fine with me. I guess might be because of the angler outfit. I don't know if that's in the calculation there, but next stop is going to be minnows. It's hard to judge how many minnows you're going to catch in a particular level, so I'm going to do a little test run with it. I might take it to 50%, maybe less, maybe more. We're going to find out. But I do think that is going to be the episode here. The uh, 20, 2,500 anglers, that took me, I, I guess, at least 25 hours. Yeah, I just got to, I'm going to put this video out. It's been a long time. <laughs> I don't know, like two weeks, maybe, something like that. 
But I think I got a fair amount done here. I'll be seeing you in. Uh, I'll be. <laughs> I'll be seeing you in the next time. I'll be seeing you in the future. Next time.